Hi guys, I'm a football coach Aiden. This time is for the POTD feature. This is a feature where I can analyze the football players which have become an issue recently. The second player is Jason Lee from South Korea, who became one of the key players in the Bundesliga 2. Jason Lee has been given steady opportunities since 2018 when he joined the Bundesliga 2 playing as a regular player. The starting numbers and playing time have increased every year. He consistently recorded attacking points as well. And this season, Holstein Kiel won the match against Bayern Munich in EFB Pokal. Increased interest within Europe for the team's key player Jason Lee. Links with five clubs, including Germany and England, are open for Jason Lee, who can be signed as a free agent from the 1st of July 2021 without renewing his contract with his team. Then, among the teams that are being linked, let's find out which team Jason Lee is likely to transfer to. The conditions for a transferable team were based on three things. First, a team using a formation with an attacking midfield position. Second, the difficulty of the starting competition for the attacking midfield position. Third, league level including last season's performance. I would like to say in advance that I have considered these three things and did not take into account aspects such as the team's financial condition and contract. SV Werder Bremen This season, Werder Bremen were relegated to the Bundesliga 2nd Division, finishing 17th in the Bundesliga. They will change a lot of squad players and next season will start in the 2nd Division. There are two formations that Werder Bremen mainly used. They used 3-4-2-1 10 times and 3-5-2 9 times. But in the case of 3-5-2, it was often composed of two central midfielders and one defensive midfielder. So it was a chance for Jason Lee. A formation that can be given is 3-4-2-1. The advantage of choosing this team is that it has been relegated to the second division. So it may be easier to compete in the starting lineup depending on the transfer situation of the team. It is also positive that the formation with an attacking midfielder was used the most. However, since they were relegated to the second division, there is no guarantee of promotion to the first division again. And in Bremen, where Lee Jae-sung, who played with a big man in both Jeonbuk and Holstein Kiel, mainly uses a pacey and technical striker, he should be used to the style newly. And although it wasn't a good performance in the Bundesliga, there are a lot of players in the attacking midfielder position. The players that will be competing on this team are Josh Sargent, who mainly plays as a striker, and Leonardo Bittencourt and Romano Schmidt, who plays in the attacking midfielder position. For this reason, the Bremen's recommended rating is B. Hamburg SV This season, Hamburg did not get promoted to the first division, finishing fourth place in the Bundesliga 2. Next season will start in the second division as well. Hamburg used a variety of formations. They used the 4-2-3-1 formation most of the time with 12. But they used the 4-1-4-1 and 3-4-2-1 5 times and the 4-3-3 4 times. All formations except 4-3-3 are formations that Lee Jason can play. Moving to Hamburg has the advantage of being easy to compete in the starting lineup, except for Jeremy Dujia, who can also play as a central midfielder. It won't be too difficult to secure a starting spot as the other players don't even lead on attacking points. And because they were a team in Bundesliga 2, they know Jason Lee well and they probably know how to use Jason Lee better than other teams. However, since he's in the same league as his current team, Holstein Kiel, it can feel like another year wasted from Lee Jae-sung's point of view. And it's unclear if Hamburg will be promoted to the Bundesliga as they have ranked lower than Holstein Kiel this season. Hamburg have not been promoted since they were relegated to the second division in the 2017-2018 season. 
The team's rivals are Jeremy Dujak, a starter in 21 games, and Manuel Winchema, a starter in 16 games. I think Hamburg's recommended rating is A. TSG Hoffenheim Hoffenheim finished 11th in the Bundesliga last season. With 11 wins, 10 draws and 13 loses, they achieved a mid-range record and the next season starts in the Bundesliga. Hoffenheim used a variety of formations as well. Among them, 4-2-3-1 and 3-4-1-2 had the most 8 and 7 times each and 3-5-2 and 3-1-4-2 based on back three were also played five and four times respectively. Jason Lee can play in any formation used. Although the team is mainly based on back three formations, most of them use a back three with an attacking midfielder position. And for Lee Jason, it is the team with the most positions among the transfer rumored teams. And since it is a team that records a stable place in the Bundesliga, it has the advantage that it is not bad to get a chance to play compared to teams that use only fixed players for relegation or advance to European competition. However, most of the players in positions where Lee Jae-sung had to compete recorded a lot of playing time and their ratings and attacking points were good. That means it's not an easy competition and Munas Dabu, who hasn't gone unnoticed this season but has made 22 appearances, is also a potential contender. In addition, since there is no main formation that is mainly used, Various formations are used evenly, so even if he has good performance, he may not be able to play depending on the situation. Andrei Kramaric, the team's top scorer in third highest appearance time, and Christoph Baumgartner, the fourth highest appearance time player in the team, with 6 goals and 3 assists, are the contenders to compete for starting position. Writing forward Robert Skov, who has less playing time and attacking points, is an easy player to compete. I think Fanheim's recommended grade is A. SC Freiburg Last season, Freiburg finished 10th in the Bundesliga, scoring and conceding 52 goals. The next season will also start in the Bundesliga. The formation Freiburg mainly used is 3-4-3. A total of 12 times were used, which was 5 more than the 4-2-2-2 and 4-4-2, which used 7 times each. 3-4-3 and 4-2-2-2 will make room for Desong Lee, as it is the only team with a Korean player among the teams that are currently rumored to be transferred. It has the advantage of being able to adopt to the team the fastest. Moreover, since it is a team that always achieves mid-level results in the Bundesliga, it has the same strength as Hoffenheim, and it is a team that has an appropriate position for an attacking midfielder. Like Hoffenheim, the players in the attacking team have good playing time, attacking points and ratings, so the starting competition will be tough. It is very likely to be used. If we think about Kwon Chang-hoon, who could not get many playing times, we can expect the approximate playing time of Lee Jae-sung. There are two potential competitors he will face on this team. Vincenzo Grifo, who started in 27 games, and Roland Salai, who started in 22 games. Grifo had ranked the highest rating in the team, and Salai was 7th. And in terms of position, Lee Jae-sung is highly likely to compete with Vincenzo Grifo, the starting player and set-piece taker. The recommended rating for Freiburg is C. Crystal Palace Crystal Palace, the only Premier League team rumored to be transferred, finished 14th last season with a record of 12 wins, 8 draws and 18 loses. The upcoming season will also start in the Premier League. Crystal Palace's main formation is 4-4-2. They used a total of 26 times and there is a difference of 17 times from the second most used 4-3-3. Jason Lee is expected to play in both winger position or a central midfielder position for this team. The opportunity to play in the Premier League, which is currently ranked second in the World League rankings. 
will be a sweet suggestion for Jason Lee. And since it is the club that Chung Yong Lee played, it is also an advantage that it is a club with an understanding of Korean players. However, because the main tactic is a classic 4-4-2, there is no position for an attacking midfielder. And it is a team that tends to use the traditional winger style on the side. It is a team that does not fit Jason Lee's style, and Chung Yong Lee's playing time, which can be seen with a similar style, will help him to choose. And although 4-3-3 was used 9 times, Jeffrey Schuller, who played as a left central midfielder, moves to the left, and Andros Townsend moves to the right, so it is a 4-4-2 formation. Looking at these things, there is no position for Lee Jae-sung, an attacking midfielder. If he goes to this team, he will be competing against the wingers Andros Townsend and Ebe Eze. It's possible from a playstyle point of view, but he won't be able to take the place of key player Wilfried Zaha. And since they don't play for European competition, the starting line looks like it's going to be very tough, as the starting players will play most of the matches without the rotation. The recommended grade for Crystal Palace is D. So far, I have talked about the transfer rumors of Lee Jae-sung. Hamburg seems like a good team to move for solid playing time and Hoffenheim for first division advantage and upper league challenges. There are many options as the experience on the European stage has increased and the military service issue has already been resolved. But considering his age, this choice will have a big impact on Lee Jae-sung's career.